Well, ladies and gentlemen, the last episode of One Vision has been released, and it's it's something all right. Um, gosh, I just watched it now. Um, obviously, on it came out at like eight a.m. for me, but I was in school at that point doing lessons, so I couldn't really watch it. But now I've watched it, uh, I'm going to review it for you guys. So let's get into it. So. Um, the start of the episode uh, starts off pretty intense. It's literally at the end of episode 8, we go straight into episode 9, and it's kind of connected. It's pretty much 20 seconds after the end of episode 8. Um, we see Wanda uh, about to go and fight Agatha. She throws her into the house. White Vision finally comes down. Wanda, emotional, wondering what's going on. My vision starts crushing her head into a lemon, like a lemon. And then actual vision just shoom, comes by and whacks a whim into a house where there's a massive explosion. So we see vision off, going off to fight white vision uh, in an epic fight, and then we go and see Wanda fighting Agatha. Um, Agatha pretty much abuses Wanda and controls her to make her use her powers so she can absorb it. Um, Agatha shows Wanda um, everyone in Westview and their emotions and pretty much making Wanda emotionally insecure to release a hex but the more power she uses the more Agatha can absorb from her. Um, White Vision and Vision keep on fighting uh, they get into an intense moment where it's a bit like a Harry Potter double door moment where they, they both fire their beams, Arc Reactor versus Mind Stone. But unfortunately, the original Vision loses because, because the hex is closing. Vision and the children will die, so Vision is pretty much made useless at that point. But to Wanda's left, we see Vision and the children on the floor just. Yeah. And then to the right, we see the people left view crying and running off. Uh, Agatha, again, pulling on Wanda's heartstrings, family or Westview. Wanda, I don't know if she intentionally made this decision because she was smart or if she just wanted to save her family, but she chose family so Vision could go and fight White Vision and Vision could do what he do with Vision. Obviously, we know White Vision is engineered to kill Wanda and Vision but because they're with Vision and White Vision are pretty much the same Vision gets through to White Vision I'm, I'm sick of tired of saying White Vision already but there's no other name for him except from White Vision um, he unlocks White Vision's memories which are pretty much Vision's memories because they're both part of the same uh, data bank pretty much and White Vision becomes human and not a robot or he starts to think like a human. Um, he has all of Vision's memories, so pretty much Vision is alive, but in White Vision's body, so they have merged together. The memory of Vision, but the body of White Vision. Because we know Vision can't leave the Hex, but White Vision can. Um, after this, we see the intense battle between uh, Agatha and Wanda. And whilst that's going on, we see Director Hayward trying to shoot the children, but Monica absorbs the shots. She misses the last shot, but I think Billy catches the bullet and drops on the floor. And then Hayward tries to get into the truck to run a mother, but here comes Darcy with like a fucking wrecking machine and just whomp into a wall and says, Have fun in prison. Uh, obviously, whilst all that's going on, before Monica could actually leave to go and help the children, we found out that Pietro, or someone who looked like Pietro, um, or Pietro, is actually Ralph, and that was a stupid move. I, I didn't like that at all. That was, that just nullified the mystery of Ralph. Um, Ralph could have been Mephisto, Magneto, Doctor Strange, anyone. But it's a fake Pietro that's a pussy. That's what he is. That's what they have put him down as, and that's just no. That's a mark down in my books. 
So we see these two fight. Agatha doesn't really do much. She just absorbs Wanda's energy. And we see Wanda kind of lose the flesh of her skin, kind of. And she starts to get all zombie-like. Uh, she's pretty much dying. We see in the background, right about here, one of the dark hold uh, sides on the sides underneath Agatha's basement. And Wanda using Agatha's tricks against her, only the witch that cast this spell can use their powers. So Agatha is pretty much rendered useless, and that's why she couldn't use her powers earlier. Um, so Wanda sucks her powers back and becomes the real Scarlet Witch with a sh fucking brilliant outfit. Let me show you the outfit actually, right now. Here it is. Fucking sick outfit. Sick uh, shot as well. Uh, you can see the crown and also a sick outfit. I'd get an up close shot, but I can't be bothered. Um, there's your up close shot. <laughs> um, but yeah, she gets a sick new outfit. Vision and White Vision have stopped fighting. Vision is now helping out the children and Monica. Um, White Vision has gone to Narnia, I'm guessing. I mean, there's any place he could go in the world. Um, Wanda uh, defeats Agatha. I won't say defeat, but she she beats Agatha. Agatha is now defeated. Um, Agatha's warning Wanda of the things to come, which I guess is that either implies a nightmare, Mephisto, the Grim Reaper, or someone else, like maybe Galactus. Um, Wanda permanently changes Agatha back to Agnes the neighbour until Wanda will need her again. Sorry about that. Let me get that back up for you. Anyways, um, so Agnes is now a thing. It's permanent on Agatha until Wanda needs her again to fight off whoever the fuck this guy is. Um, or to kind of learn from whoever this guy is. Learn about them and all that. Or woman. I'm not discriminating. So after she beats Agnes, everything's safe. Uh, everyone gets out of Westview. Haywood gets arrested, which is a big great scene. I'll explain that in a minute. So Wanda takes the kids back to the house where they, she puts them to sleep. They start to have an emotional conversation with them, and as soon as they're asleep, they are disappeared from the hex because Wanda shrinks the hex and gets rid of it. Um, so Wanda will shrink the hex. The kids are gone, so it's just Wanda and Vision in the front room for the final time with just one of the most emotional scenes in Marvel. Uh, we've seen some emotional scenes, Tony Stark's death, Natasha's death, uh, Vision's death, and Vision's death again. Um, last thing we hear from Vision is, uh, I'll see you again soon, darling. I think, oh, it's goodbye, darling. I don't know. Uh, but we know that Vision is pretty much still alive, just not that Vision, it's a different Vision. But this also confirms that Wanda can duplicate Vision if she has the body and the power, which she does now. So she can duplicate vision, she just doesn't know how to yet. But she knows Hayward can, or someone can, because there is another vision. But the question is, did she see the vision? Probably because of her talking to vision, and then vision flies up to Beck and Danny, and also he squished the fucking head in. Um, but that's what we think is the end, but there's actually two credit scenes the mid credit scene, we see Monica um, and Jimmy Woo reunite again to see Hayward get arrested. Then an agent brings Monica into a theatre and reveals that she's a scroll that is sent by a friend of her mother's who I am pretty confident is Nick Fury. Now, we know that Nick Fury is pretty much in a scroll spaceship uh, by the time of Spider-Man Far From Home so I'm guessing he's in there already because Spider-Man Far From Home and this takes place like two months in between like two months gap between them um, so I'm guessing he's on the ship um, so Wanda well not Wanda Monica I think is going to be Photon uh, um, 
it's kind of pretty much obvious. And then the end credit scene. Oh, there's a picture of that right up here. The end credit scene, we see Wanda in the middle of nowhere in a mountainous, snowy area. Um, short sight, she's about to go and make some tea. And then we realise the actual Wanda is in the astral planes. Which is a reference again to Doctor Strange. And we see the symbols around her. We see the dark hold. And then we hear the kids screaming for their mum. Wanda. So that means Wanda's found the way to bring Billy and Tommy back through a different dimension. Which, I didn't put this in my theory video, but one of my actual theories was that it wouldn't be a multiverse, it'd be different dimensions, which would present different multiverses. So if you go into like the fifth dimension, that's a different universe in the third dimension. So maybe in the fifth dimension, Iron Man's still alive and shit like that. And Captain America sacrificed himself in the first dimension, I'm guessing it's pretty basic. Like, it's just phase one, maybe. Maybe every phase is a different dimension. So phase one, Avengers Phase 2 is a different dimension, Phase 3 is a different one, and currently we're in 4th dimension or Phase 4? I'm just guessing, if I sound ridiculous, put it in the comments below. But, um, yeah, I, I'm gonna... I'll rate the episode. On Twitter I rated it a 4, but that's just because I just made this reaction was disappointing because not a lot of my theories came true. Let me actually see which ones did for you. Uh, no, 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 uh, yeah, I got one right out of all of them, so I'm pretty disappointed, <laughs> as you can tell, uh, if you want to see what predictions are, there's another video, I'll leave it in the uh, links up above, I think it's either, I think it's this corner, but who cares? You'll go and watch the video anyways. Um, but if I'd give this episode a rating, um, the fight scenes, the emotional stuff, amazing. Um, Big Let Die is like it was a bit too basic for a final episode. It didn't feel like a final episode. But it did what it was meant to do and it's a big, big stepping point off to Doctor Strange and Spider-Man. Now we know that uh, Mrs. Olsen here has filmed her season with Doctor Strange. We don't know if she's in Spider-Man, but we know that Doctor Strange will be in Spider-Man, so that can kind of link there. Um, but um, as a season finale, I'm not really that impressed. Obviously it's season one, so maybe there might be more seasons of One Division, but I'm not really sure. Um, probably not, because Vision is dead? Well, he's not dead. Vision could never be dead. But his humanic body, the first humanic body form is dead. The second form is still out there, probably in Narnia or China or Indonesia or something like that. Or maybe he's just flown to some other planet. Who knows? But uh, that's my review of WandaVision. Um, Hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, this has taken a little while to do. Uh, and I pretty much, if I'm being honest, this could become an underrated episode, but it's not the best episode, if I'm being honest. I feel like episode 7 is the best episode, or episode 6, one of them two. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I appreciate the support you've given me on the recent uh, uh, videos, my Star Wars video yesterday, um, the One Division episodes, uh, reviews, uh, predictions. Uh, I greatly appreciate the support. Um, you know what's coming up next? Um, Falcon Up Winter Soldier, be excited to review that. And then we have the Bad Batch and then Loki, which I'll actually be on the round table for. If you don't know what the round table is, it's on Chris's channel. Uh, every Sunday I'll be on them but spoilers if you made it this far well well done uh, but thank you guys for watching I hope you take care um, and yeah 
See you all later, my noobs and dudes. Peace.